Hi there guys, Adam here, back with another video, uh, and today's video is a public service announcement from The Beard Solution regarding biotin. Uh, basically, stop pissing your money away buying biotin. You don't need to buy it, you don't need to take it, you can get it perfectly fine in your diet, stop doing it. I'm going to give you some reasons as to why. So first off, there's no scientific evidence that it helps. Uh, in fact, it's only really shown to help in people that have alopecia, uh, not androgenic alopecia, I believe it's just alopecia, uh, that has been caused by a zinc or biotin deficiency. Um, so by the taking zinc or biotin, they can alleviate some of those symptoms. That's the only time it's ever really been shown, and I don't think there's much evidence there to show that it was significant where it may help. Other than that, there's no scientific backing for it. It's literally just an echo chamber of people saying, take biotin, take biotin, why don't you take biotin? And it's because supplement companies will make loads and loads of money off of it. And the reason that they can target you in this way is because with those studies, they can just take the fact that it might have helped hair growth and ignore the fact that it was for people that were biotin deficient. They will just take it as it helped hair growth. That is why it's marketed in the way that it is. Uh, but also, on a side note, it isn't a DHT blocker. Um, it's always marketed that way. There's zero evidence for that. Uh, absolutely zero. And that's more so in the hair loss community than in the beard community. Um, but sometimes people in the beard community do get worried like, oh, I can't take biotin. It has DHT blockers. Well, it doesn't. But that's not the reason you shouldn't take biotin. You shouldn't take biotin because it is a waste of money. Um, furthermore, uh, there is literally... One study I have found which has information about biotin in, uh, and that was on a hair loss kind of uh, study clinical trial they were doing with women where they showed that it doubled the amount of follicle hair count, the amount of hairs actually growing on the scalp. Now you might think, wow, Adam, that's amazing. No, because it wasn't even biotin. It was actually Viviscal, which is a brand of multivitamin that might contain biotin but isn't exclusively biotin and also does have DHT blockers in if I recall so again you can't extrapolate that kind of data from that uh, study and say that it will therefore work for the beard or even work for your head hair to be quite honest with you um, because it's not just biotin okay so there might be a correlation with biotin being in there but that's not necessarily causation the cause of the actual hair growth increasing furthermore um the amounts people are taking are absolutely ridiculous so 10,000 micrograms a day you really don't need to take that much i don't really know where that came from i'm not sure whether that was a remnant of spanish beard or whether that was just old minox beard spot stuff but you really don't need to take that amount and i know that um basically all the admins at the minox beard spot agree with me in regards to biotin it's really just not that worthwhile um 10,000 micrograms is way too much. I think Sam shared something with me not long ago that was saying about how uh, it competes with B5, vitamin B5 in your body, um, and that can cause things, if I recall correctly, things like increased sebum production and therefore acne, uh, but don't quote me on that. I'm just going off of what I recall from, from seeing before. Uh, but again, even if you do take that amount, you need to drink loads and loads and loads of water because it's water soluble. It's not fat soluble. It doesn't get stored in your body. It's water soluble. So anything your body doesn't use, you will piss away, which is what I mean by you are pissing your money away because with 10,000 micrograms, okay, you only need 300 micrograms a day. You're literally wasting the rest of it. You're spending extra money for no extra benefit. I mean, there's no real benefit to using it anyway, unless you are deficient. So go back to that point. If you're not deficient, you're really just wasting your money doing it. Now, there are some supplements that you could potentially take that might be beneficial, things that we might regularly be deficient in. So it might just help you in your general health and therefore maybe your beard as well, uh, alongside your monoxidal beard journeys. Now, Chemos over at Beard Profile already did a video on those, so I'm not going to go into them, uh, but I'm going to link you his video in the description because it's a really good video and I think you guys should go and check it out. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing a video from me that wasn't just my updates because I know that has all it has been recently. I feel a little bit more refreshed after my break. So I guess if you did like this video, please do hit the like button. Do share this with other people as well if they are talking to you about biotin um, and you want to get the word out there. It really isn't worthwhile. The people that are saying that it's helped them are often people that used it at the very, very start of their journeys, which is usually where we see the most growth rate from minoxidil, and therefore they're just correlating it rather than finding whether that was actually the cause or not so please do bear that in mind uh, and also please do feel free to comment any questions and 
please do um, subscribe to this channel as well. We've hit over 5,000 subscribers now, which is really, really awesome. So thanks very much to each and every one of you. Thanks very much for watching this video. I'll see you guys again next time. But you don't rate me because I ain't got a blue tick, but I got one on the top and that gave me. I don't even know what's real.